Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna get real nerdy about The Juice, AKA Coral Essentials Black Label product line. So no one likes a product that claims to be a magic elixir, is expensive, and then does nothing when used. However, there is one thing that can be even more annoying than that. A product that claims to be a magic elixir is expensive, but then actually delivers fantastic results. The Coral Essentials Black Label products fall squarely into this category but they are no magic elixir because today we're gonna get real nerdy, put our research hats on and figure out what the juice actually does, why it works, and maybe we can even have a guess at what's in them. So first up, let's take a step back and look at the coral coloration, growth and health supplement market. First up is straight coral foods. They're generally granular powders, although sometimes condensed liquids as well. Things like Reefroids, Reef Chili, Aquaforest Power Food, uh, Rico Food and Vitalis SPS Coral Food. Uh, most of these appear to be various blends of dried phytoplankton, krill, rotifers and other ground up fish, mollusk and crustacean derivatives. These foods are presumably captured and digested in some way by the coral, most commonly through either direct capture via a polyp or mouth or via being trapped in the coral's slime coat and then broken down and absorbed. We know that these products deliver results in the home aquarium. M most of us have seen anecdotal evidence of this in our own tanks. The feeding responses of LPS are the easiest to observe and witness when adding most of these products to our tank. However, there have also been scientific studies conducted on some of these foods. An often cited study published in the Journal of Marine Biology Association of the United Kingdom back in 2011 uh, tested a series of coral foods available in the market at that time. They showed that Reefroids uh, was the best performer of the foods that they tested at that time with a 7.5% weight gain in coral over three months. Uh, as a result, of that polyp lab marketed very heavily at the time and it's possible that this helped them to become the benchmark that many coral foods are compared against and one of the most popular foods on the market today. However, with more recent studies, we can see that this is actually not such a great result. A 2018 study which incorporated into their testing freshly collected unfiltered seawater and live Artemia nupuli, essentially hatched brine shrimp, uh, which are about uh, half a millimetre in length, were both found to outperform reefroids in synthetic salt water by a factor of five. So thus, while reefroids may have been superior to the other common aquarium diets, or at least it was in 2011, it's clearly not the most optimal feeding strategy by itself. But the coral food market knows this. Hence why we also have the next two categories of product, amino acids and vitamins. There are a ton of amino products on the market. Coral Essentials have their own, as do Reef Anabolics, Red Sea, Aquaforest, Brightwell, and just about every other major supplier to the industry. They're almost always sold as liquid additives and often require refrigeration after opening. While the exact named amino acids present in all these products are not always the same, when they are named, there is often a large amount of crossover and overlap between the included amino acids in every product. Common amino acids I found listed on products I surveyed include alanine, aspartic acid, glutamic acid, glycine, lysine, leucine, proline, valine, biotin, serine, and chelated or combined other amino acids. These types of products often also have omega-3 and omega-4 fatty acids and carbohydrates too. As for vitamins, while sometimes their own products such as the Aquaforest Vitality and the Reef Anabolics Vitaglow Pro or Coral Essentials own Power Grow, uh, they're often also mixed in with the coral food or the amino products. The common vitamins across the products I surveyed include vitamins A, B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, 12, vitamin C, D3, E, H and K3. Essentially, Nutrition 101 dictates that vitamins are important precursors in the synthesis of protein, while the amino acids are the building blocks. 
The process of building proteins requires energy, which is often found in the form of fats and carbohydrates or sugars. We know that unfiltered natural seawater collected from coral reefs is essentially a soup of free-floating microscopic organisms, bacteria, amino acids, vitamins and trace elements. As demonstrated by the studies I mentioned earlier, the planktonic organisms soup of aminos and vitamins found in fresh natural seawater on coral reefs give far better growth for corals than straight up coral food uh, powdered products do in synthetic salt water. The vitamin and amino products seek to help us close some of that gap. I'd just like to also interject here that running an aquarium with fresh unfiltered natural seawater collected from the shore is not a great idea despite the results of the study. The water that they collected was collected from way offshore from an actual reef and was used immediately after collection. Water collected from the shore can fluctuate in quality and salinity drastically depending on the time of the year, can be tainted with runoff and pollution depending on the points of collection, and can also contain harmful pathogens and diseases and hitchhikers that we definitely don't want in our tank. Hence why most natural seawater collectors should always filter their water when they collect it to ensure that it's safe and free from pathogens and carefully monitor it for salinity and other parameters. Most beneficial aspects to live natural seawater die rapidly when stored for any length of time and it becomes functionally not much different to man-made salt water anyway for that reason. So what does any of this have to do with Coral Essentials Black Label? Well given what we have been learning about the voids in aquarium water and why such vitamins and proteins can't be found in the aquarium while they are abundant in an ocean the Black Label series fills the void that most aquariums have that the ocean and all of its inhabitants provide to the corals. It seeks to do this in a manner that's far more targeted than the broad strokes approach of the three categories of products I listed earlier. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact actual ingredients of the Coral Essentials Black Label range. The best information from Coral Essentials I could get claims that the trio consists of overlooked vitamins, proteins, crude fats and omega based oils in ratios that have been tested in the Sustainable Reefs Coral Farm. So in short, the black label fills a nutritional gap that is often overlooked and once added, corals can thrive. Black Label can also be used with any other program because apparently there is currently nothing as unique or as strong as it in the market. It targets the overall health of the coral to allow it to thrive in an aquarium environment. One specific aspect of the puzzle that many reefers are very interested in is the development of chromoproteins, which is a natural process of coral that we want to enhance as much as possible. Chromoproteins are the light reactive molecules within a coral tissue that give them the fantastic colors that we see in our tanks. It's generally accepted that chromoproteins play a large role in regulating photosynthesis in the coral, aka, to put it simplistically, they're a form of sunscreen that protects the coral from strong light, or adapts that light to best regulate the productivity of the zooxanthellae, the symbiotic algae that live in coral tissue and through photosynthesis provide much of a coral's energy. When the balance between the coral and its zooxanthellae is thrown into disarray, the effects are blatant. Overpopulation of zooxanthellae leads to brown dark corals and a major stressor event leads to them being expelled from the coral's flesh leading to bleaching. Manipulating zooxanthellae populations in coral flesh can have a direct effect on the coloration of the coral. The Zeovit system popular in Europe does this specifically in a way that leads to very distinctive pastel coloration in corals. It specifically reduces zooxanthellae populations to the point where the coral surface tissue gets a little bit thinner, allowing the underlying coloration to show through, producing pastel colors. Zeovit tanks are very easy to spot once you know what to look for. However, it's not a particularly common methodology here in Australia. Black Label does not do this. Instead, it targets the overall health of the coral, including aspects of color, metabolism, and immune system that allow it to thrive in an aquarium environment. How does it do this? Well, that is the question, isn't it? I could quote some of the scientific chemical names of the components of various identified chromoproteins in coral and speculate that they are the ingredients of chroma, vibrance, or energy. Um, or I could go through an exhaustive list of amino acids from the coral and marine research white papers and attempt to identify the ones that are not in the regular amino acid products on the market and speculate that they're including some of those amino acids in their product. The same goes for vitamins. 
I could even quote journals and papers that claim that chromoproteins have more function than just coral sunscreen and that they've tested oxidization properties of them uh, and that that may then lead to chemical triggers that can cause specific chromoproteins to, to be produced in corals. Maybe Black Label takes advantage of this. But that would just be getting way outside of what I'm actually qualified to talk about and I could easily be totally wrong. I have no way of validating whether any of those ideas or some combination of them is right or not. So for now, I'll just link some of the papers that I've read in the descriptions below and if you're interested in getting extra nerdy, go and have a read. I think for now, the better question is, why hasn't anyone else brought out a product that directly competes with Coral Essentials Black Label and why does it cost so much? Well, I can see a couple of possible scenarios to that. The first is that the creators of Coral Essentials are just really, really smart people. Um, they discovered something that no one else knows. Um, they've been able to keep it a secret and as a result, they've got a product that's unique in the market and is achieving something that none of their competitors can currently match. Uh, another theory would be that the knowledge on how to make something like Black Label is known to the industry, but more the method of synthesizing them and incorporating them into a product that is shelf stable and then able to be sold to the market is in fact a secret. And that might be what makes Coral Essentials unique. Another scenario might be that in fact it is known to the industry, not only what's in Black Label's products and how to make it, but the economics of doing so hasn't necessarily met the benchmark or been proven enough for other companies to do it. And that's now created a scenario where Coral Essentials took a gamble on an expensive product and now is an exclusive provider of a product of this caliber within the market and has a reputation building globally as a result. It's likely that it's possibly a combination of all three of these theories. But the fact remains for now that we don't know what's in Black Label. We do know that it produces fantastic results, well above what can be seen from other coral supplements on the market. I've been running the complete Black Label range at full strength on my tank now for coming up on two months. And as you can see from the B-roll footage that I've been playing throughout this video, my tank has never looked better. I for one will definitely continue running Black Label for the long term. Whether these results are worth the cost, well, that's a decision that I leave up to you. So I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Marcus and you've been watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Bye for now. Show you, I will reach you, I will teach you